mainly the two reasons. Mm. The first, I don't think Museveni is a legitimate leader. Oh. He's in power because uh, he controls the instruments that will put him there. Two, the inconveniences that come with the attending functions where I'm seven, maybe his son and wife. It is only yesterday that I had MPs say they were allowed to go with the phones. They did not have to subject them to uh, COVID tests, something new. Mm. But uh, for me, those are the two reasons I don't attend uh, meetings where I'm seven is. Right. You are most welcome to the gang, Honorable Abdul Katuntu. Looks like you've come in as hungry as Honorable Semuju because both but of you... But you brought here tea, everybody who takes, you complain. I'm not complaining. Then why did you bring it? It is the manner in which you are both attacked. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even settle. <laughs> so you're you taking it is part of the settling in. It is part of the settling in. Yeah. Just to behave like what they call a jadong. Jadong yeah. in war means a big man. Yeah. When you visit a homestead, yeah. the Jadong always urges you on. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. You, you take. You take. I think that, yeah, you take. Okay, Jadong, don't, don't, thank you very Jadong. much. Don't, 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 don't forget I am O, O for Oscar. So, <laughs> I'm, I'm really at home. You are, did you attend on a book at home? Yes, I did. You attended. Yeah. First time in a while? Uh, because this time round you're not listening to the orders of your position. Yeah, 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 for sure. But mm. even then, I've always attended. Oh, uh, I think it is. Is level headed? Uh, I don't know about level, but uh, I think it is an obligation. Yeah. Uh, even if we disagree, <laughs> we listen to each other. Mm. So boycott is not uh, one of the things. Um, you are not for boycott. So enthusiastic. Oh, okay. And and Uganda won a football match last night. There was uh, general happiness in Uganda, and I bring it up because. The state of a nation address where I'm like you, I, I, I read, and it says the first ideology is love Uganda. Do we need to be reminded to love Uganda? Because he said, you know, then he gave a history of whatever, and he said the first ideology is love Uganda. So that comes to you to begin with, Edgar. Uh, Do you need to be reminded to, to, to love Uganda? Do you need uh, an ideology number one in Nesona that you must love Uganda? I, I was on a talk show on the very day of the state of the nation address mm. on another on another media house, mm. and uh, I sent you a screenshot. I had seen it actually on Twitter. I, I sent you a screenshot, and I, I I made it very clear that we seem to be suffering from a generation gap. It has set in, and uh, clearly even on this desk on the, in this in this on this show. You are a teacher. Maybe you have the advantage of of, of interacting with Generation Z, G Gen Zs, mm. and maybe it rubs off you through either osmosis or diffusion. But the rest of us who have limited interaction with Gen Z, believe me, <laughs> the Gen Z uh, generation has a very different approach to these things. And uh, if we may think that they don't love their country we may be largely mistaken. They have been absorbed in uh, the fourth industrial revolution. Has and now we're heading to the fifth industrial re revolution. It has absorbed local communities into the globalized world. There's a globalization of culture. There's globalization of thinking. The way the Gen Z operate these days, they communicate very differently. Their attention span is only two minutes, and they are more drawn to audiovisual than you know written texts and what have you and they communicate more through well the state of a nation address images. was visual audio visual audio visual yeah mm. but you see and and this is what i'll be delving into that uh, uh the, the, the the state of the national address really fell short of of addressing the dynamics and intricacies of that generation uh they expected the president to pronounce fatwas mm. <laughs> and, and issue hadith to 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 the to the troops is his commanding, uh, but uh, it came off as feeble and 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 philosophical mm. instead of, uh, of 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 taking the bull by the horns, as uh, Semuju will be talking about much later since he's a crusader. So. Um, Interesting. If I on what? On, on the malaise that is eating up our society. Mm. The, the impunity, growing impunity. Yeah. Growing impunity, graft, 
they 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 are they are impeding our our our, our progress. They are checking our progress. I, I often remind uh, you, Oscar, <laughs> that I'm a, I'm a lawyer, I'm a businessman. We deal with the global community. At the, at the beginning of the week, we're hosting asset fund managers, what they call people who bring uh, 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 patient capital. People are coming to invest for a long term, <coughs> and they are looking at uh, investing social impact investments. And uh, you know these social these these funds are best out of uh, the global West Western capitals. They are CEOs. Their CEOs are trained in these Ivy League colleges. And uh, when they come, they come with set boxes which they have to tick. And when they come, and there's something as important. By, by the way, some of those people take the state of the nation address more seriously than we do. Mm. Because they, that's how they're able to see policy direction of what? Of government. Are they, are, are we, are we, are we, mm. are we running, are mm. we walking the talk? All we are engaged in mere so return. in short you 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 were not that very impressed with the uh, from, from the address in terms of addressing policy the state of a nation itself the address i have a back rich background in academia wow. the the address was more like a philosophical basis for mm. the ideological foundations of the nram mm. it's it it, it 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 if if they removed the heading it sounded it came off like a lecture at uh, some institute of african studies at university of Leiden, uh, <laughs> university of minnesota and uh, the president is laying out uh, the basis for his struggles why he went to the bush but state of the nation there are many things that are even working in favor of government that he could have talked about i and uh, the uh, an honorable <coughs> country to my senior and, and teacher we issued, uh, you saw the new statutory instrument on creation of new magistrate areas. Mm. Every district has a chief magistrate's court now. We have magistrate's courts at counties and in some cases sub-counties. I saw his district has about, you have six of them, Honorable Katoto? Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is progress that you'd have expected the president to talk about. You'd have expected him to talk about... Uh, the for instance kampala roads you can see they are in a state of disrepair although i saw the right honorable number <coughs> making some interventions and you can see there are a number of diversions of the road now maybe the threats to arrest some people uh, are beginning to pay off mm. at least where i reside i see some earth movers and culverts being laid eh? so there's a loan i think which you people approved and it was approved by the attorney general of 599 519 million us dollars for improvement of Kampara infrastructure roads and whatever. You'd have expected the president to talk about such things. But unfortunately, I, I, it was missing. Uh, maybe where you touched really on some, some of the great I of the issues that you need to address is the access to capital. But again, he was feeble. He mm. was feeble. He, mm. he didn't issue... He said, uh, Bonaba Gagola is for uh, other people. If you are able, go to UDB. Go to UDB. But even access to UDB, you need accounts, audited accounts, and what have you. I've, I've approached all these stations before. Mm. I'm in production as well. I export meat out of Uganda uh, together with other partnership with other people. So uh, the, the bottlenecks, the three, four major bottlenecks, okay. one being uh, access, to cap access to finance, <coughs> two, logistics, transportation costs, three, electricity costs, and fourth, which is very important, the mindset. We don't seem to have the mindset. He says we're in the middle income. But do we have and, the mindset and, and, of and middle and income citizens? Let's go to Semuju here. Ask him if he loves Uganda. Um, as the, you know, ideology one, love Uganda. Ideology two, love East Africa. Uh, love Africa. Prosperity of the <coughs> black person. And there was a mention of corruption. Uh, between civil servants and even new parliamentarians. You remember Oscar when we, Mr. M7 was hosted by Capital FM. Mm. If you remember his opening remarks, we are almost the same remarks that uh, he, he begins his State of Nation address with. Um, <clears throat> I have in the past, struggled uh, to find a story in seven speech when I was working as a journalist. Sometimes, um, especially speeches that he prepares for. 
because uh, a state of national address we've discussed it each time it has been delivered and if you went back we've said almost the same things this is meant to be a structured address to deal with the issues that are affecting the country um, where the country was a year ago what were the issues how have you dealt with those issues since then uh, there are issues that emerged along the way did you deal with them or how do you intend to deal with them in many speeches M7 has made reference to the budget which is going to be read next week that this issue emerged we intend to deal with it this way and in the budget I'll be either speaking more about it or I'll be providing uh, money to deal with it this specific address uh, is, is one of those addresses to NRM caucus meeting either when he's meeting Muchaka Muchaka uh, graduates that's why the, the the introductory introductory part was on NRM ideology, NRM historical mission. He spoke. Uh, it, it, it sounded like an inaugural speech of someone who is lamenting, and then vowing to deal with the problems that are structural. Not someone who has been in power for thirty eight, for thirty eight, thirty eight years and each action of his is going to be complementary so he sounded like someone fresh who has come into power is preaching a uh, love uganda love africa so for 35 38 years we've had all those things oscar so this was meant to be a focused speech to deal with issues that are affecting the country the infrastructure the road network has broken down security on the street now people can't be sure whether you carry a phone or you don't know who's going to hit you next the employment the poverty and then deal with the capacity of the state to deal with these things you will listen to the budget and i hope they will not lie if you listen to the budget we have for the first time lost capacity to finance our own budget some several are speaking about a 1.5 billion dollar uh, as revenue being collected the time he took over power his projection next financial year is that we will correct and this is projection because we don't go beyond 26 trillion we'll correct uh, 31 trillion but we have the debt that is due to be paid is 34 trillion this is the first time we have never had a debt payment that exceeds that exceeds the tax correction for the first time at least since i, I have been following and that's the state of, of the nation we are highly indebted we have no capacity to repay our debts so even if you cry Oscar from morning to evening that M7 should fix the roads in Kampala, he doesn't have capacity to do so. In my constituency, people are supposed to be compensated to give way for the southern, uh, for the southern bypass and Ginger Expressway. We borrowed money last financial year from African Women Bank, I think more than 600 US million dollars, to construct the Ginger Expressway. But we don't have money to compensate people for that work at start and in many other cases so mr m7 was i have said elsewhere that this sounded like a coursework you know m7 taught at a, a college in in arusha uh, moshi. Uh, moshi yes when when the i mean when they came to attack idi amin and after being beaten he went and uh, settled there and started teaching because <laughs> nyerere had told them you stop fighting you're causing me problems so this sounded like uh, one of those lectures in a class or a course worker for, for, for one of his students. And, and he's deliberate because Mr. Seven is intelligent. So he knew I can't speak about these issues, but I can speak about others. So let me speak about the others. And mm. he did. Um, now preaching uh, Rav Uganda, uh, NRM ideology, uh, Pan-Africanism. Because you see, these things, he should, should have been reporting should have been reporting if he actually wanted to speak about them mm. this is what it was last year this is what it is this is what it was so many years ago but it was just preaching general preaching mm. the only thing that uh, i was happy about was to listen to seven sometimes two and a half hours but i think what the age has done his speech was about one hour this time i don't think he now has capacity to go beyond that and that's why part <laughs> of the mps were sleeping 
uh, and many of the people listening to his speech. Do, do, but, you, do you think it's his age or as uh, Edgar here says it is the, the age of his audience? No, they no, can he, no longer he, manage more than no, an no, hour. He, even his age. Yeah, uh, uh, mm, is, because you see when you are delivering a state of national address, mm. uh, Oscar, one time we were with him seven at a function, midway had to run to his toilet which he moves with. I don't think during a set of national address you will stop me do and then you run to it is not possible so you have to to fit within your body demands that you give a speech um, and after certain you stop uh, so uh, one day I said to seven he the speech was uh, nearly three hours mm. and he was not speaking about anything that we thought he was going to so he was speaking about everything else the creation of man at Yugobiamugenyi the word what <laughs> And then the real issue that he was meant to address, he gave it about two minutes. Mm. So the, the age has also helped a bit to stop him from lecturing for many hours. And I saw that uh, I was watching. Okay. Yeah. We welcome Honorable Lydia Wanyoto Mutende to gang. Most welcome to... Hey. Uh -huh. Good morning to our listeners and, and viewers and to the colleagues of the gang. And thank you, Oscar. Mm. We welcome Honorable Robert uh, Kasule Sebunya as well. Most welcome to gang. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> the yeah. Thank you so much. Um, let's and, enjoy the debate. And we also welcome Namfi, Marian Kasule Nafka. Most welcome to the Capital Gang. Thank you, Oscar. So, Honorable Katunto, uh, uh, there's Nora Oraga on X, formerly Twitter says to Samuju, and just because uh, the president does not talk about what you expected, it doesn't necessarily mean his address was irrelevant. Longevity in power necessarily means the president and party in power repeat themselves in the sona. But then earlier she had said a sona means to inform the nation about its present economic, political and social condition. It is a vehicle for the president to summarize the accomplishments and plans of their programs of government both for a particular year until the end of their term of office which seems to agree with uh, what Edgar was saying. So Honorable Katuntu, how did you perceive the State of a Nation address? I, I think we don't have to start with the, how I perceived it. We need to start with the Constitution itself. What does the law say? Uh, under Article 101, there are two presidential addresses provided for. Article 101 provides that the president shall, at the beginning of each session of parliament, deliver to parliament an address on, and I want to emphasize this word, on the state of the nation. On the state of the nation. Then two, there is another address also provided for by this constitution. The president may also, in a consultation with the speaker, address parliament from time to time on any matter of national importance. So, the constitution provides for two addresses. One, a mandatory one, and the word used shall at the beginning of each session uh, address parliament on the state of the nation. So, what is envisaged under this particular provision of the constitution is the president should be addressing us on what the state is today. But not out of nowhere. Because he last addressed us last uh, session of parliament. So that should be the baseline. When he last addressed us, what happened? We gave the president, for example, um, how much money have 52, 52 trillion. How has he utilized it? Because you have to link the state of the nation to the budget or to the resources. The state of the nation, Oscar, is about accountability of the last or the ending financial year. And then the budget is about the following financial year. A wish, list. a wish list, as they say. So we made a very big mistake, and Parliament really, I don't always get 
I don't debate the general debates in parliament. There are many people who should have the opportunity to do that. <laughs> um, so I don't, you know, every state of the national address is, uh, is debated by parliament. So I, I leave that to many of my <laughs> colleagues. <laughs> now, this time is different. I, I intend to make some contribution because we need to guide this country. The president cannot come and give a general address. That's not state of the nation, uh, on the state of the nation. That one is provided for under the sub, uh, sub article 2, which talks about any other address. They can come and talk about all issues, the, what Samuji is talking about. Uh, all those ones, you can address them <laughs> under sub article 1012. Article 1011 is about the state, on the state of the nation. Where is it today? And I'm telling you, my own appreciation of this particular provision is that we need to talk about, for example, the economy, talk about sectors of the, of, of, of the economy. This is what health is. This is what works is. This is what education is. This is what employment is from last year. That's what we expect. However, in my view, honest view, this was purely an, an, like any other address. Because if I ask you, Oscar, what did you talk about education, since you are an educationalist? Uh, that he's going to fight corruption. What did he talk about health? What did he talk about infrastructure? We are coming up with vaccines. Uh, in infrastructure, I speak uh, talking about vaccines. So I, I think we need to, and the, the presidential speech writers really should do this country or the president uh, a favor and write a proper speech because the president employs people who are supposed to be doing. We pay them who are supposed to be doing these things for the president. You don't write a general speech for a president on the state of the nation. It's not correct because. For us as parliament, we even invited our colleagues, our sister parliaments, to come and attend this function. Many speakers came. And then eventually we went into general issues about Uganda, about Pan-Africanism, which are pertinent, I must say. They are really pertinent, but they're not, they're not supposed to be part of the state of the nation address. And I think that's where, as parliament now, uh, uh, Ibrahim, we should be talking about a law that helps the president to define what the state of the nation should be. Otherwise, as of now, last year he tried to do a little bit better, Oscar. He, he sort of went into some of those issues. Uh, then he has gone back to his usual general speeches, and quite unfortunate. We need to enact a law that defines what the president should be addressing on the state of the nation address. Mm. Okay. Lydia. I was in Kololo Thursday. I, I took the option of being physically present and honoring the invitation of the speaker. It is the speaker that invited me. So I would like to thank the speaker and the session of parliament for, for inviting me. So, yeah, so I, I attended. Um, I want to agree that, you know, before I went to Kololo on Thursday, I looked up my copy of the speech of the National Address for last year. And the, I think the structure of the one of last year, I want to agree that is more coherent in line with the policy statements and guidelines. It is sector uh, arranged in paragraphs. You can look for where you want to find education or health or even infrastructure and it, 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 there was that flow for the last year's statement this year's statement <coughs> it was actually the time was short it was imposing. but it was the the, the, the the text i think is longer it is a booklet but it was not structured like that last year so i think what i can say that that's all is not lost this is a, a very well listened to talk show. Next Thursday, I've seen already they are working on invitations on budget speech. The president will have an opportunity to speak again to the country. Maybe he can now um, 
be helped to bridge those gaps because there are some areas that we are really glaring in my opinion you cannot speak to a country whose younger people are screaming of opportunities and you do not mention anything about young people and opportunities and employment and uh, in, 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 there are areas that are so specific to young people like sports we are hosting AFCON we are doing a lot of sports uh, uh, sports so so I, I and, and we are doing a lot of work in the sports sector or even in the entertainment last evening I was watching uh, a program on uh, film film uh, film people film stars and film that's a very big entertainment area that mm. attracts young I, I, people I, I, yes I wanted to help you Lydia mm. and you nearly said last evening I was watching the Uganda cranes uh, beating Botswana that was really good it makes you love your yeah. country but but in addition La- La- hold on in addition Uganda beat you give me my uh, time oh yes you your Uganda cranes uh, the cricket team also won its first ever game at the cricket world cup mm. we beat Papua oh. New Guinea yes first we, we, we are that good we beat them mm. yeah so we had already lost a match but mm. now this win has lifted us so yes so so, so for mm. film take mm. i'll tell you what yeah. we did for talent, talent, mm. talent 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 uh, for a, for a country that should be proud of its young people and big population our speeches our anchor our direction should be mm. on how to direct the country in the harnessing and utilizing young energy but also skills and, and that should be the rhythm of every country our countries because we are different <laughs> oscar countries are crying they don't have population they don't have young people they have the aging population yeah. uganda has a young population Average age dynamic 26. yes di- dynamic but also largely skilled now and they are all over the place so i think that uh, even parliament you know i speak because i i I've, i have now a copy of the parliamentary directory over 90 percent of uganda's uh, parliamentarians a reflection of our country they are between 40 and 45. there, there are very few who are beyond 50. The cartoon and, and that speaks again to the age and the energy of our country and they need direction you want to say something to, to, yeah, uh, it, it, yeah. to that because yes. she's chairperson of the nrm uh, women's yeah, league she's uh, a, 81 she's percent of puncher. the voters in 2026 elections yes. be between the age of 18 and 30. Yeah. and so far from the statements we are hearing from the likes I, yeah. i'm surprised she's but uh, not so surprising because she's my former student <laughs> yes i'm your student yes uh, maybe i, I parted the skills <laughs> yes you did you, you the, taught the me statements yeah. you hear from public officials are yes. so detached yes from mm. that part of the population yet mm. they're the okay. majority they, they there's a, lis- a listener here uh, right here yes, charlie on twitter saying that nafi but i should tell right here, charlie the way nafi they get look the way nafi is looking at the other guy as a girl for once, she's looking at her approvingly. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, there's a girl. It was actually going to be my first point that for a population hmm. whose eighty percent is below the age of forty, hmm. that conversation, that that address, did not address anything or have anything to do with them. And for me, that is a shame. So maybe you are the ones who need. The it just history. sounded like a conversation hmm. between two eighty-six-year-olds. So I I, I I actually I keep telling I keep telling the members of parliament representing the youth that you've been overtaken by events. It's as if it's about to age. Because there are members of parliament who are younger than the MPs who represent the youth. So our country should really focus on this God given because you cannot go to a factory and manufacture people. But we've grown a young population in the twenty first century who have gone who have mostly skilled and the urban centers are also growing so for me i think that um, the speech or the country's economy or the progression of the state of uganda's affairs should really focus on what the majority of the country looks like so that we speak focused on that population okay. and uh, like it has said the, uh, <laughs> sorry uh, like it has said the 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 we the countdown for the next because it's about also governance then the countdown to the next election is just 17 months mm. 
-hmm. the presidential nominations and parliamentary who are the flagships are September next year the calendar is out so this should actually be the most sober national address because next year we shall be people will be running up and down to fix their nominations okay. so I, I hope that uh, we can uh, it's not, not all lost I do not think that we need a law but please if you want to do a law you can go ahead and do a law I think it's an administrative matter mm -hmm that they can reorganize and look at okay. the national address Thank and you, then Lydia. other addresses can actually uh, can actually now attract uh, the history of our country where we want to go because we, we cannot speak about love love is so emotional mm. and it should be spontaneous that you don't have to tell me to love, and, really. And, and I, 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 when, I, when, when you're gonna if I love E.T., it e. doesn't have to tell me love me. I told you, the, 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 the nanny verbal, like hey, the nanny <laughs> verbal should be so obvious. Can we play what has love got to do with it? <laughs> <laughs> so, so, thank you, so, so that, that is Let's my opinion, Nancy. but uh, uh, again, I'll be happy uh, to attend uh, the, thank the thank budget you, speech on Thursday thank you, so that those gaps are addressed. So, no, now, for your own microphone now, uh, as as uh, Robert also prepares to come on, I'll remind Robert that he's the NRM person in the studio. <laughs> That's the reason I invited him. So, oh, he, he is. Has, he heads a delivery unit in the NRM. It's not easy being NRM. This time around, it is a hard job. This time around, my you, brother, you, you need to deliver here. a state of the nation address. Are <laughs> you fine? <laughs> now, for your own microphone, then Robert will come on after. Um, <clears throat> Oscar, I think you've seen uh, so many jokes about the, the candidates standing in the United States and their age and the problems that come with that kind of thing when you have leadership um, very in the case of the United States of course the, 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 the question is competence especially when it comes to Biden health wise and the ability to go through the next four years competently managing um, the, a, a superpower like the United States but the difference between the United States and Uganda is their average age is um, quite higher than our average age here in Uganda. I think the president's address yesterday has highlighted what is going on in this country. Even when you look at the budget and the programs and the policies by government, and at this point, the government policies are more making up stuff as you go along than well thought out policies. There is nothing that has been programmed for the youth, that has been planned for the youth. Listening to the president, and, and, and um, I apologize, I was busy um, with, the, with, the, with the Uganda Law Society Tax Symposium. So I listened to the speech afterwards. And the only reason I listened was because I was coming to, to, to the capital gang. But um, still... That's a component. <laughs> and these are the things that he should be addressing. Now, now I mean, he's just been in... A, in, 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 in yes. Sefas Birunji, yes. Uh, uh, one of the most respected tax yes. yes. consultants yes. in the yeah. country. He, yeah, he's, he gave an apt... Uh, 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 he captured the situation aptly. Exactly, we are, we are, yeah. We, are, we, we want to apply the 20th, 20th century, century solutions, solutions in the 19th century, century setting. setting. Yes. Which I've already said, we are primordial. Yes. We are primordial. We and the thing with us is that, like I've said, we make up things as we go along. We see a new idea, IFRS, tax stamps, and then we bring it and we do not adjust our homestead to the new ideas that we are trying to incorporate. And then you get a pushback and, the, and then you think that when you come with the military, you will then competently deal with that pushback. That is no longer the case today. I mean, the president the other day like was he exactly was talking to the traders. Yes. He did not address. Mm -hmm. This was an opportunity for him to address the tax issues in the country, to address the, tra the traders. Because when that discussion ended, he seemed um, not happy with the, with the little opportunity was given to address them. Now, he's had, you know, over 20 days to go and think 
and this was one of the opportunities instead of going on and on about Nkwame Nkrumah and, and, and these young people don't even know uh, most of these uh, 20, 50, uh, 25 year old Bairibi do not even know Kwame Nkrumah. They know and but it just doesn't appeal it, to them. Because they have so much more going on. <laughs> it's not solving their problem and if you keep telling them the economy is growing. The economy, this speech sounded like Moses Piarohanga <laughs> wrote it because when he comes here he's usually out of touch with reality like that whole speech like he's, it's delusional when you Start telling us there is I don't a surplus. Think you are being fair to Moses. It's not delusional. Hello, Moses. Sending you my greetings. <laughs> <laughs> but he's, he usually <laughs> is. Goes off. Man is the mimics. He's the boss. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, I think uh, we are big and fair to and Moses. That, 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 uh, <laughs> have you read the 48 laws of power? Mm. Law number one do not try to upstage your boss. And Moses follows that to the letter. So kudos to him. But it sounds like um, Moses and, and a couple of other. NRM, uh, no, I won't use the word stooges. Let me see. NRM, that one. not psychopaths. That one, like those people who follow NRM. <laughs> it's 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 sad to think that the president can come and spend two hours. And and trust me, there is. I, I don't think you know. Back in the day, I've said this before. When the when the president was addressing, especially before the budget, when they were addressing the nation, every single radio station was tuned into that downtown. People listened because they knew that the president's speech is going to touch on their lives. That you, today, you now can remember when I reminded you the COVID speech speeches, yeah. and I was telling you we were watching the president, you yeah. know, for the minute first time, by and minute. he reveled in it. Mm. it was but touching but your now. Lives, yeah. It's not the same. Like if the president goes on and on and on, and even someone like us who have to listen because we're going to to give our opinions on it um, over the weekend, you you get tired of listening, and then you have to switch off, take a break, and 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 have to switch on again. And still, there is nothing he's saying that mm. is relevant. I mean, you can't go on and on about surpluses in the yeah, sugar man. sector, iron, and this and this, and the factories you've created, and the, the people in 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 your country do not even have, cannot afford this sugar. So how do you balance that? Here you have But that was a positive. That was a positive. Mm. It is a positive, but it, no, but no, look, look, no. If you have surpluses and you truly have surpluses, then people in Kabyong should be able to afford the sugar. Yes, and that's the point. For yes. example, if you have surplus milk, then why do the people today, in Kamarama do not have this milk? Today to drink? we produce about 1,300 megawatts of electricity. Yes. Excess. And we use just about 800. 700, 800. 800. There is surplus. Mm. But only less than 20% in Uganda. 26%. Have access. 26, have access. 26%. Have access. 26%. To, to the surplus is not because there is a surplus. Actually, no. people can't afford it. Exactly. Because you go to the villages, villages they don't consume sugar. For me, his address should be addressing that gap between but, the... But to me, yes. Yes. Oscar, just, just one second. Just one second. Mm. You see, if an issue like that comes up, then yes. we debate it. Yes. Because that's the state of the nation. Yes. So to me, the, I, I actually give him a credit to it. Mm. I give no, no, him no, no, no. So do I. So I will I, give I, him a credit if he wasn't just it is the state it. of the nation yes. yeah. that we are producing this. Uh -huh. And now the issue that comes out, especially when you are going to address now in the budget, yeah. is... How, How are we going exactly. to allocate resources to make the situation better by providing more power? Exactly. So, that, that should so. be a real issue. Uh, Oscar, that is Nancy, the real issue. Exactly Nancy, that he Nancy, did. Nancy, that, hold no, but on. Nancy, is there Abdu, 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 hold on, uh, Edgar. Hold on, everyone. We have but some last students. Was 7, we have some students from Mengo Secondary School who've come to see the beauty of the capital gang. Oh. So first pause on your tirade, Nampi, okay. and we go to to Robert here. Akwa, akwa na, Robert uh, Kasule <laughs> Sebunya. <laughs> Robert, <laughs> in, I, I I have a quotation on on. Uh, but Oscar, just a bit. When you talk of sugar, no no no, hold on. You hold your fire. No no, hold your fire. Because I'm. Come so, Ro Robert, yeah. 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 there's but a quote here, okay. a, a tweet. I'm listening to the tweet. Yes, a tweet from Alan Kasuja, okay. quoting the president. He says, I now have proof of a corruption racket from the Ministry of Finance to Parliament. Mm. And then he says, we are going to crush them. Yes. I will not grant them amnesty. Uh -huh. Amnesty. I want to grant them. Uh -huh. mm. He won't. Yes. With the crushing of corruption, yes. Uganda is under 
unstoppable. Mm. Okay, and <laughs> Alan Kasija says that was one of Zay's most outstanding attributes <laughs> on on and strategic patience. Mm. Okay. In this case, how has, however, it has taken him too long to find the evidence mm. and to act on it. Exactly. Okay, you, yeah. that's your starting. But let 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 him. Now I'll come back to you now. Okay, I think. Um, just as somebody in the, st in the studio said, that's uh, uh, no, no, I'm saying, <laughs> don't, 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 don't bring my body, don't bring my body here. Now, I'm saying, on your microphone, so, somebody said, uh, in one of the conversations here, said the president is clever, last year's address was structured, this one was not structured, I think it was deliberate. And, has, uh, and he, he denied the, uh, the age and the energy, the youth, and because now the age of, of IT, everybody can access state of the nation addresses everywhere in the world. And he knows the structure he should follow. But at the same time, he doesn't want to, to incite people to debate all these problems we're facing. Because if he started on 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 on, on, on PDM on, on PDM, people would quarrel. If he started in, on roads, people would say people would say, "Why down my road?" So he knows very well, and he suppress, suppress this debate deliberately. Hmm. Uh, he knows they are quarrelling, but he doesn't want to add fire to uh, fuel, fuel to the fire. So. Maybe he doesn't pre want to preempt his speech at the budget speech because then the budget speech will be structured in those in, the, in those themes, Edu Edu education. So, but this one, the state of the nation is like a preamble to the budget, uh, a preamble to the budget. And what will happen is that he will read those things in their structures, in their themes at the budget level, and somebody else will be reading. And for him, he will come out only comment on a few. So, he knew what he was, what he was doing. And, he, and because he's even listening to the people, that's when he started on, uh, like, this is not part of the speech. So he brought issues we do with the parliament and uh, uh, saying this time parliament is working so well with the government. Those are not part of the speech. But he knew what people were thinking and what people were listening to. Then he brought in those other... We can even now say he, he used the rubber dabba style of, of the state of the nation. But I think the problem comes from. The rubber dabba style. Like he. No, now. now the, <laughs> he knows. And he, 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 <laughs> he knows people will be think, waiting for about education, the health, the infrastructure, those things that people are expecting, the narrative that people are expecting. But he knew that if he starts, started um, analyzing each, the debt levels and everything, people would scream on top of their heads. And. No, he, uh, that's what I'm saying. He was intentional because he knows people know the problems. They are more enlightened about these problems. They face them every day. If it rains, you know what they talk about, the mataba. If it, 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 if it is hot, yeah, but, and he knows, but he decided to do it differently. No, no, because the answers, the answers are not as obvious. Yeah. He can't fix the debt problem in a day, not even in a year, not even in 10 years. That's what I'm saying. saying. The problem is with those who crafted the word state of the nation. They didn't define what is in the structure. Yes, it's a, but the, the, the constitution okay. gave him leeway. Yeah. He would decide. Yes, this, he didn't say the state of the economy, the state of... Otherwise, he would have gone ahead. Thank you. To, mm. to, to, to define what, is, what should be involved in the state of the nation. Because we just copied these words from the American style. No, because we wanted to, mm. to, to put the... Uh, well, we are well, constructing a democracy. Uh, hold on, hold on, yeah. Edgar. Mm. Eh? Thank you. Thank no, you. We are we, we, constructing a democracy and we put in so many things from America, from wherever, and we said state of the nation. 
Huh? But what does it involve? What, okay. what, what does the state involve? Uh, the you. nation involve? Nothing. And we didn't define it. So we gave him a, a, an, a, an open check mm. for him to decide what to say. He would have even talked okay. about two things or three. Okay. Okay. And no, but if we didn't define it, yeah. because the state of the nation of the U.S. cannot be the same narrative as the state of the nation of Uganda. No, 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 no. Yeah. So. Thank you. Nanfi, you're on microphone. Yes. Even if he decided to only talk about security. Huh? Not difficult, but I'm telling you the reality. The president chose that narrative because he knew you are going to debate. Even he knew you are going to analyze it. Huh? Thank you. And Thank you. Just let, let me let me let me have Nanfi. Edgar no hold on. Mm. Nanfi Abdul and yourself. Mm. Go on. Oscar. Uh, defending NRM is, is, is a, reminds me of a gentleman who, who, who was being interviewed on TV to defend his brother who is a serial killer. Uh -huh. And at some point he said, I am not here to defend. I, 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 I don't also understand my brother. So I think NRM people <laughs> should learn to get to that point where you say, I also did not understand my leader. Oh, uh, Lydia tried, but no, you know she went soft on it. Mm. But Oscar, before you interjected, I was saying the state of the nation and you have to it address I'm corruption and mm. nothing about the Mabati situation. Nothing the about, is not about Mabati not, no, but <laughs> that is the state. Is the state we have exactly starting from the but right MCM. now the state right now yeah. exactly. But you see, the state right now is that we have ministers who stole Mabati, mm -hmm. we have leaders who are thieves, we have it's leaders. Yes, yes, these are things he should have addressed because these are if any if he wants anybody to listen to him next time or next week when he comes to 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 tell us about the budget then these are he needs because at the end of the day the problem with with our president is that he forgets that he's our servant and i think he's come out and told and reminded us he's not but unfortunately i will tell him he's not a king he's our servant he is here to serve us and do things in accordance mm. to what is good for us so when he stands on that podium and refuses deliberately to address things that he should be addressing and covers his head in the sand, then it, he does a disservice to the whole nation. So, Oscar, for me, if he was actually addressing surpluses in any sector, then he needs to have uh, told us why. For example, sugar in surplus was at the beginning of the year 9,000 shillings. Because if you have anything in surplus, then sugar. Because Brazilian sugar comes from Brazil and gets here at 1,500 shillings. Mm. And yet you have a country producing surplus sugar. Then he, will ex he needs to explain to us the gap between the surplus and a normal Uganda not being able to, have, to afford the sugar. And then in the budget, he oh. can tell us. Then he also needs to explain to us why, despite the fact that we have all these factories that he has talked about, and we are doing bubu, why are they headed by Indians and Chinese mostly? Because, yes, he comes and tells us, but I, I struggle to find a real Ugandan, native Ugandan, who has been afflicted to a point of wealth in this government. So, yes, they may be Ugandans, yeah. but why is it that they are of certain ethnicities, foreign ethnicities? Is there a gap? Is there a problem? In some is there ways he addresses Why not that? cartoon to hear the meta factory? Have, uh, tribal mm. production. Yeah. And Let's then of course of course he starts mm. by gaslighting us and telling us not to go tribes and religion. And yet he himself no. is practicing this at any given time. That. Uh, tribes yeah, can say grow it, but when you say one thing and, so on. and do another, then you don't do a justice mm -hmm. to Let's yourself. Let's talk for a break. I'll have Abdul and Edgar close mm. this topic out and then because we'll... the whole... uh, come back from the break. This is the Capital Gang. Uh, Abdul, you had wished to conclude on this topic. Yeah, and I, we I think uh, we we are saying the same thing, but in different, you know, words and the structures of uh, presentation. Even when uh, the Honorable Sebunya is disagreeing, I don't think he's disagreeing with the substance. Actually, and to me, I, I don't think a president yeah, of a country when you're, that is not complimentary. I, I don't, I don't <laughs> think that's complimentary. That the president <laughs> okay, the, the, of a country is bad, but diversion. He knows what to say. If you want to move away from what yeah. is provided for by the law and the, more so the constitution, oh, yeah, uh, really. Uh, uh, so, what is the way forward? Because at the end of the day, we can always discuss until the the, the hands come home to roast. But okay. What we should be thinking about is how do we help a head of state mm. to address the nation on the state of the country as it is now. 
and this can only be possible by enacting a law to yeah. operationalize yeah. Article what? 101. Yes. Otherwise, if we don't do that, yeah. even next financial year, yeah. the other financial year, even when uh, 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 my sister Lydia becomes Lydia. the president, mm. she will also she will choose say. what to say. So, I think it's not about the president choosing what he says, but mm. what is required to be said. Him. You know, there is this joke, Oscar, you teachers know it better. When you set an e exam for your students, and then they end up answering <laughs> their own exam. <laughs> their own exam. <laughs> the, they set the only question yeah. away from what you've set and uh, answered it. I think that's what we've been going through. Mm. The president should be assisted, and the earlier we do it as parliament, the, uh, the better. Mm. If you have better the, the, leaders, yes, uh, <laughs> Elizabeth in Kampala says, please put those student visitors on gang instead of a gangsters, uh, gangster shouters. Mm -hmm. Maybe we need new voices and ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Lydia. <laughs> well, she's oh, right, we are gangs. Moses yeah. has a message for you. I hope you'll be able to read it on the forum. But uh, I also have a message here from Roger Swanduru from Mumbai. He's saying that UBC should be more clear on Thursday because I think on th last Thursday they were not clear. And this is, this is the national broadcaster, so people would like to watch uh, their budget. So UBC, I hope you have heard this. But he's also saying that next Saturday, Oscar, will be taking here Arabica coffee from Mumbai and Roger Swanu will be bring, uh, <laughs> Roger Swanu will bring the coffee for all the gangsters and then it to the listeners. Um, on the national address, I think that it's, it's all not lost. I hope that on Thursday, it, the structure will come out to address Uganda as at 2023-24 going forward because it's supposed to speak to our expectations, the next budget uh, uh, expectations or promises. So where are we coming from the last one year and where are we going the next one year? I, I, that should be able to to come out in in summary so that when you know okay this is where we were last year what happened what did not happen and why then this is where we are going next year because it's an annual it's an annual event so I I, I, I don't know whether that's what cartoon wants to put in the law that I should talk about what has happened within the last 12 months when I become president because not everything that is an act is followed to the letter you know that very well but I think that is the wish that uh, it should be an annual accountability of where we have come from the last 12 years, months, to where we want to go in the next 12 months. Just a summary of, of people's uh, expectations and, and actual aspirations. We do not have to deliver everything. Actually, we can also talk about failures and then emerging issues. You can plan that in the next 12 Actually, months. It we is are, even better to yeah. talk about the challenges. Yes. That and how you're going to address to them. Our, our, we should never run away from yeah. the problems. So it's not about yeah. talking about success and success. Even no. the failures. We need to talk about the challenges. You see, you can how say in the next 12 months, you, we are going mm. to do this and that, and then you do not reach that. Or oh, there are also emerging issues. We never budgeted for Ebola, or we never budgeted for COVID. COVID. We woke up one morning, and COVID was on the table. So that, those are some of the things that you can't talk about. And then you say, how then are we going to address them in the next 12 months? Aligned to the budget expectations, okay, the wish you. list, as you call it. So Moses' says, uh, message says, the president's, president's speech was on ideology. Yeah. If we understand that ideology of patriotism and pan-Africanism, then you will know that that is the way forward for Uganda to create jobs for the youth, like Nam Fuka is talking about. The president talked about non-tariff barriers that are hindering trade between Uganda and our EAC partners. The president urged member states to stop non-trade barriers. If this is followed, then our economy will expand, hence get more jobs and revenue to invest in other sectors. On the issues of how the sectors are performing, that will be in the budget speech, which is also a duty of a president to present to parliament. Right. So... Uh, Oscar, now I, I was really supported law, yeah? to, to say the president knows exactly the what he there. intended uh, to do. Uh, yeah. He didn't want to speak through sectors and the themes of security and whatever. I, I, I he talked about things generally. Honorable yes. Robert he, Kasule Sebunya, I think <laughs> yours is not complimentary. And, and the law doesn't, yeah. he didn't so, offend any law. Honorable and, Until you, uh, you structure Heroes it, Day, you operationalize is, uh, it. 
coming uh, as we, uh, the way we want our uh, next topic is heroes day uh, heroes day is actually tomorrow yes it's coming up in gomba uh, and the theme lydia danger the theme what's the theme so do we have heroes on <laughs> 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 the microphone heroes day is coming up yes so on a sunday so people miss out on, on <coughs> it being on a weekday but it's a public holiday tomorrow and heroes day I, I, okay, we missed Tofono Pono because the last time we were speaking about it, he gave the genesis. Mm. Um, I was trying to find it. It started pure as an NRA, an NRA day to remember their colleagues, specifically the ones that were executed in the Kikandwa 1981. And then they went on to give medals to and recognize other fighters who had helped Mr. Museven to come into power. Uh, <clears throat> at one time, they had even set up a committee, I think, which was headed by Tumwini. I think he was the one who was identifying. Head of the Chancellor. Head of the Chancellor. Yeah. 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 Later, I'm, I'm talking about the beginning. Uh, <clears throat> because he was senior and he always wanted to uh, his seniority to be next to seven uh, to win so he's the one who was identifying people to recognize to remember those are new those are new i'm talking about the, i'm talking about the beginning kagonyera is yesterday i'm talking about the beginning so later on when it was uh, institutionalized it also moved away from recognizing only um, bush only bush war fighters i think they wanted in my view they wanted to maintain the day and that's why they moved away because they had almost finished but others had also annoyed him seven along the way after giving someone a medal for fighting in the world then the following day he says you should stop here so he now moved away from the royal fighters to include everybody, including all sorts of people who by themselves should have been shocked when they are being given the medals that they are heroes. Uh, so he hmm. goes to arts, he picks teachers, he picks... Uh, uh, so the day was institutionalized and uh, we even pass a budget to make sure that it happens. In fact, if you read the budget of the presidency this financial year, the complaint was that they had not provided the the financial requirements that should go along with the medals that those who are receiving them actually are more interested in the money than the medals themselves uh, that they didn't say but it is, it is it, but but it, i mean it's just uh, implied so the selection now is in the hands of a committee that was put in place so the younger people i, I have heard today that uh, more than 80 percent of ugandans are below the age of 40 so i have grown osc I am now in, uh, among the 20 percent. I don't know. Maybe M7 is a uh, M7 is on one percent or even 0.1. So the young may not know that history. Uh, is it useful? I actually don't know that this day is useful anymore. Because even if you want to recognize people, do it a state of national address or at budget. I was in Tanzania sometime back during Magufuli. And he said even the independence doesn't mean that people go on holiday, we spend money. He said the money for this year's function should be used to do his... He identified some roads. He said I will give a speech on TV. But uh, these days he helped Mr. M7 also to do the campaign and go around the corner. That's why they are spread. Uh, I hear they are in Gomba. Yeah, they are in Gomba. So he keeps spreading this function. It has become one way for him to campaign. <clears throat> so Oscar, the, the, the beginning also had its own problems because M7 was recognizing only those that were royal to him. If you speak to the historical UPDF people, they will tell you that some of the people he was recognizing are not actually should never have been recognized. And I think today it means the same thing. Um, uh, people like VSJ and Montu and uh, those ones will never be recognized. The moment you oppose him, then you are not a hero. So the heroes are those who have helped M7 to capture power and those who are continue to help him to stay in power. And uh, maybe he needs to call it, uh, find an NRM function where he can go and recognize this. Because as soon as uh, Museven goes Oscar, 
I can tell you all these marking and celebrating these days will stop because they are partisan. The message there is partisan. They are meant to reward the people who have helped, uh, helped them to be in power. So there are those days that you remember. I was in Nigeria when they were marking the Independence Day in Nigeria. Almost everybody, including children, they, they treat it as a national day. But these partisan NRM days recognizing people who illegally picked up arms and were killed by government. Uh, and then you continue uh, giving medals to your supporters, NRM structures, campaign committees. And then you want the country to come to a standstill because you are, you, you are recognizing your own campaign structures. So I, for me, there is no value in it. But since we are ruled by gunmen, they can announce NRM. Even, even the Dem 7 captured the power. Even the Dem 7 captured the power, but they were still celebrated as a national day. Hmm. Lydia, okay. <laughs> Uh, Hido's Day is going to be in Gomba in a place called Impenja and they will be recognizing 53, they have identified 53 heroes or heroines whom Honorable Semuju say gave the relevant background. There is a, a statutory uh, in, instrument onto this and there is even a committee and, and the chancellor that identifies them and then there is a, of course uh, facilitation of getting them medals and, and recognition for the various contributions they've made to our country. This year's theme is called Hail Our, Legend. our Legends, a Secure Uganda is now a reality. Uh, so that, that is the theme you asked me, Oscar, it's the theme for, for this year. Um, it is true that it began as a recognition of the those that were in the struggle to liberate our country as at 1986 but thereafter they've been able to expand given the new uh, uh arrangement it is participatory but also inclusive including different ugandans that have made a contribution in the different sectors to the development of our country uh there are those who are